My name is Savannah Chestnut. I am 25 years old. I'm originally from Americus, Kansas, and I'm currently living in Emporia, Kansas. Savannah Chestnut is a singer-songwriter from our own backyard who is making a name for herself on the popular NBC show, The Voice. People ask me, was there someone musical in your family that got you into it? Not really, I just always loved music. Savannah has been singing and writing since she could remember, writing her first song when she was 13. At 14, she started performing at different places around town, like the Emporia Farmer's Market. I just, I kept writing, I kept working at it. But once she was out of high school, she headed to the capital of country music, Nashville. That was the dream, and plus I wanted to get out. It was a small town, and I had that whole, like, small town fever where I just needed to leave and go do bigger things somewhere else. Her fever eventually broke. While she was in Nashville, she learned how to be a better singer and writer, but ultimately making her way back to the small town, making albums and starting her own band. Okay, I know. The next big question, what was the audition like? She's been holding on to quite the secret. Savannah's blind audition aired on March 15th. She shocked almost everyone as she sang a 1984 pop song, Hold Me Now, by the Thompson Twins. All the, the dancey, like, 80 electronics stuff from it. Um, it's a really beautiful ballad of a love song. Like, it's just, the, the lyrics are great. So it's a song that's really easy to, to take and slow down and turn it into a country song. Lots of compliments after she was done auditioning, but while she was singing, she wasn't so sure she would make it far. Since it was getting to the towards the end of the song, and I was really starting to think that nobody was going to turn, my first feeling when he turned around was relief. Savannah has worked hard to make her dreams come true, even when times got tough. Sometimes you have a lot of moments where you feel like you're wasting your time, and maybe you should have done something else and gone to college and I didn't do that. I never did have a plan B and I still don't. Showing no matter what you do, keep going because you never know what stage you might end up on and what can come along with those dreams. A little parting gift for you. It's a souvenir. Covering local news that matters, Mackenzie Davis, KSNT News.